You know who has butlers? The rich. The super rich. And one thing about, you know, you hear all the Democrats and they've got these grand plans to, to you know, do great things. But who's going to pay for it? Well, they always have the same mantra. It's they're going to soak the rich. And somebody who's been saying that for a number of years is Elizabeth Warren, the senator from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Just take a look. Here are some of her greatest hits on taxing the rich. One thing we need to do is to get the billionaires to actually pay income tax. We have a debt problem partly because the very richest people just aren't paying. We all understand the importance of making sure that billionaires who've been paying virtually nothing in taxes uh, are forced to pick up and pay something to help run this country. The 99.9 percent paid 7.4 percent. I'm tired of freeloading billionaires. You know, it was, uh, it was uh, not too long ago when we had that mantra, probably the 80s, greed is good. Remember, we used to, we used to help Wall people Street. that were successful, uh, you know, whether in finance or anything else. We used to say, wow, look at the size of that car. wonder what that guy or what that woman does. I wonder how they made their money. Now we look at them and say, wow, yeah. uh, they must have cheated. They must not be paying their taxes. They must have an account that got them out of things. They must have robbed people or took advantage of people to be successful. It's just the wrong backwards uh, way of thinking that has people, instead of looking up to the successful, resenting the successful, uh, what, another self-made billionaire is Mark Cuban that fits that description. That's right. And here's the soundbite of the week, I would say. Mark Cuban making it very clear, not a fan of Senator Elizabeth Warren. I don't mind being taxed more. I've, I wrote a blog 20 years ago saying it's the most patriotic thing you can do after military service is pay your taxes because that's what allows everybody, you know, to, to live and to prosper. Um, but, yeah, the idea of just soak the rich, billionaire tears, tears that sell that cup, mm -hmm. screw you, Elizabeth Warren. You're everything wrong with politics. Okay. The guy works 80 hours really a week. Feels. Okay. The guy works 80 hours a week. Yeah, he is, takes tremendous risk. Not every, uh, uh, job, not every idea he has yields great revenue, uh, but he takes tremendous risk in life. And he, instead of people saying, well, how did you do that? You have other people saying, why don't you pay me more? Right. Really? Why don't you work 90 hours a week? Why don't you take your capital and put it into that? Yeah. You know, why don't you stay to uh, spend this much time away from your family in order to invest and, and put right. your uh, attention on something else for a short period of time to try to uh, to make our country better, to make you more successful, but in, this, in the same process? You know how many people that Mark Cuban has hired? You know how many people who he's given careers to and opportunities to be successful? That's what happens in our society. Successful people... Uh, hire other people who could learn from them, grow their company, and eventually yeah. spin out on their own. There's no appreciation or ever talk from politicians about people, the risks they take, those who uh, try to make our economy grow and make themselves successful, and the ripple effects through there. All we hear about is give me more money, right. uh, tax a little bit more, and uh, re be resentful of the person with the nicer car and the bigger house. I don't know where this came from. Well, ultimately, the rich just pay the taxes they owe. If you don't like the rate, change the tax rate, change the tax code. And there have been movements throughout history, but when it's finally time, push comes to shove, it's funny how not enough Democrats and Republicans get on the same page. So they never, you know, they never really jack up. They never really tax the rich. Because if you ask a, a, a number of liberals what a fair tax rate would be, they might go, well, if you're a billionaire, what about 75%? Yeah. And Why not 85%? Well, Mark Cuban, clearly a very successful businessman. He's worth $4.6 billion. And he's not criticizing Elizabeth Warren because he's afraid that more of that money will go away. He's got a lot to go yeah. around. What he's saying is that it would be bad. taxing corporations, like you said, Steve, at a higher rate, what? which did, by the way, happen in the Inflation Reduction Act, a, a base of 15%, and taxing wealthy people more than what they owe is bad for the economy because it disincentivizes hard work. Right. It also makes people put their money and their corporations offshore. Uh, and when you're talking about paying your fair share, really quickly, the IRS in 2018 says the top 1% of taxpayers paid $616 billion in income taxes, which is 40% of all income taxes. And it takes Joe Biden two minutes to spend that. And on top of that, if you take the state and federal taxes, you're paying over 50% in blue states right. uh, to, uh, to the tax man and woman. And how about this? 
87,000 new IRS agents out there on the cost of $87 billion. You know how quick the president's been spending other people's money right. over the last 18 months? I've got a great idea. What? Let's have Elizabeth Warren take her proposals and, you know, put uh, write them up as you would a business proposal and then have her appear on Shark Tank. And let's see if she can make a cogent argument why they should tax the rich. Right. That right? would be more sound bites of the week from Mark Cuban. <laughs> All right. We got, we got one good one. Yep, we right. do. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.